morning everyone and welcome it's friday here it's a beautiful day it's sunny it's warm how are you it's a beautiful day the sky is blue the sun is out it's warm and it's the beginning of the weekend so the kids are in school and today i just wanted to share with you a small costco haul um, this is a treat for me because we don't have a costco here the closest costco to us is about four or five hours away so i never get to go there i don't have a membership um, but my mom was going on a road trip with her neighbor and Costco was going to be one of the spots that they were going. So I had asked her to pick me up a few things for the kids lunches. And then I said, just pick me up whatever you see that you think that we would like, whatever we would like for lunches or snacks. And I will just pay for it when we get home. So I was um, pretty excited to see um, what you picked up for me. Um, three out of four of my kids take lunches to school and I also pack my husband a lunch for work every day so I was glad to get some snacks we should be set for a while she picked me up um, a case of corn the kids do enjoy corn with their supper once in a while so there's a case of that I didn't get my total yet so I won't be able to share any prices but that's okay um, she picked me up a roll of this Christmas paper, Christmas wrapping paper, and it's double-sided. So we've got Santa's on one side and then the snowflakes on the other side. I've had this paper before and I really do like it. It's tough and it doesn't rip when you're wrapping presents. I find some of the flimsy stuff, it rips. Um, so she picked me up. This was one of the things that I had um, asked her to get. I've had this before and I liked it. And it's the Kirkland brand um, chunk chicken breast. And these are so good for sandwiches. Like I said, my husband takes a lunch every day and so do my kids. Um, so I asked her to pick me up two cases of those. Um, and I thought they would be good for lunches um, to make sandwiches. Um, some of this, this was just something she had picked up. This one came in a two pack, but she split them between me and her. And it's a butter chicken, butter chicken cooking sauce. So I've never had that before. Um, some applesauce for the kids. So there's 36 cups um, in this. So we have, there's a plain apple, apple raspberry, apple strawberry, apple blueberry, and apple pear. Our kids um, enjoy applesauce and the baby enjoys applesauce. We have a, um, we have a nine-year-old, an almost seven-year-old, a four-year-old, and an eight-month-old. Mr. Chrissy Air Roots. I mean, these are good. We all like these. So this was a big giant box of those. I think eight, there's eight individually wrapped packs it says so eight sleeves i guess um these here i've never had these before pita bites garlic and chive um my mom thought that they would be good for for the kids to take in their lunches or just to have as a snack with hummus um so they should be good a big box of harvest crunch original um, and that is a 1.8 kilogram box. So we like that. My husband will sometimes just have that um, on his own with the milk. And sometimes um, we like to have it with our yogurt. This was another big box of cereal, cranberry almond crunch. And it says red ruby cranberries, multigrain flakes, clusters, and almonds. And I tried some of this last night dry and it was good. It came with two big packages. I already put one in the cupboard. Um, over here we have some Cozy Shack pudding. So this, there's 12 cups in here. We, I picked up, or she picked up, um, two of those for me. My husband already took one of these in his lunch today, and they're a good size for, just for snacking or to throw in a lunch bag. So two of those. Over here we have a big box of granola bars. There's 64 bars in there. So that'll be good to throw in for a recess snack for the kids. Um, a big bag of almonds. Frozen lunch, the kids can't take those because we're, our school is peanut free, but they are good for just a snack for after school or my husband likes to take a lot of um, nuts in his lunch. Um, this was something that my mom had picked up. It was a big 80 pack, I think it was 80 packs of um, hot chocolate. So she split it up and gave me half, but I took out the flavors to show you. So it comes with Rolo, Turtles, Aero s'mores and after eight. So that'll be good when the colder weather comes. Some cheese strings. We love our cheese in this house. They are there are 40 packs of 40 cheese strings in here. So we do love we are a cheese family. Bags of cheese of grated. Um this is Tex Mex cheese. 
So it has um, pizza mozzarella, cheddar Monterey Jack with jalapeno cheeses. So it'd be good for like nachos or stuff like that. And they were, I think, $16.99, she said. This here bag in our Walmart would probably be about $10 just for one bag. And then over here, we just have a box of goldfish, big giant box of goldfish. My kids love those for a snack for the recess or just if they're going out to play or if we're going out to a little snack in the car and a big box of um, bear paws. So there's 36 packages in there. And I think that was everything. Really excited to um, to get this stuff. I don't get to Costco. I think I've been there uh, once for sure. And I think that's it. I think I've only been in there once, maybe twice. Um, so it's definitely, I don't have a membership, so it's not somewhere that I can go even if I am in the area. So anyway, I was excited and I just wanted to share that with you guys. Okay, so this morning we're going to make a, I'm just making a really simple, um, but really tasty uh, banana loaf. So to our mixing bowl, we're going to add one cup of sugar and three quarters of a cup of margarine. Mine has been softened because I had it um, sitting out on my counter. And we're going to cream this together really well in our bowl. Uh, once you've let that mix well, we're going to add um, two eggs. Okay, so we've mixed in our eggs and now we're going to mix in our uh, bananas. So you're going to want three mashed bananas. These are my beautiful um, bananas that I took out of the freezer last night. Got these peeled and um, some of them I was smart and oh, I thought I mashed. I thought I mashed them before I put them in the bag. But anyway, they don't look the best, but they... Um, they'll be fine and i have four it calls for three but i'm going to put in all four so i'm just going to put those in this bowl and i'm going to mash those up and we're going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees so let me get these mashed okay so there's our bananas i barely had to mash them they were um they were pretty soft so we're going to add those to our bowl and we're going to mix those in okay so next we're going to add two cups of flour to this okay so that's our two cups of flour and then we're going to add a teaspoon of baking soda Oh, sorry about the noise. That's my little girl, Emily. She's eight months old. Um, we're going to add a teaspoon of baking soda and a little bit of salt. Okay, so I have my salt, just a pinch of salt. Just throw it in your hand and a teaspoon of baking soda. So now we're going to give this one more mix and it'll be ready to put in our pan. Okay, so our batter is all mixed up. I'm just going to take my spatula and um, scrape the sides here. Take this off. Okay, and none of my kids are here to lick the um, to lick the beaters. All right, so we have our um, pan greased and ready to go. So I'm just going to give this a little scrape. So I'm just going to give this another quick mix and get all that. Uh, there's just some butter stuck to the side of the bowl this into our bowl, into our bowl, into our uh, loaf pan. Our oven is preheated to 350. And this is going to bake in there for about an hour. You could do muffins instead of a, um, instead of a loaf. Um, you can add chocolate chips to it. Try to scrape off any uh, any last bits. And again, I don't have any kids here to lick my bowl, to lick the bowl. Usually they love doing that. But this will be a nice little after school treat. So we're going to put this in the oven and um, bake it for uh, an hour. Uh, 
a toothpick or a knife comes out clean. So uh, let's get it in the oven. So it's been about an hour or a few minutes past and our banana loaf is done. It looks and smells delicious. You ready? Daddy, don't put it Audrey. there. <laughs> Daddy, don't put it in the Okay, let's go. Your chili? That's from your popsicle. You're a good swinger. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.